Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4518 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So here we've got 26 moves to clear out 72 jelly and collect 8 ingredients. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then some dispensers. And we've got to get to these corners because we've got jelly here. We've got cutouts that are going to make it hard. We've got these licorice shells. Now with the licorice shells, if I can get rid of them, I get some color bombs, so that would be nice. If I could get these two together, I could get a color bomb, color bomb combo, but not likely because I've got ingredients in the way, unless I slide this one out. But this and this, that might work. Huh. First, we just have to open things up, and I think this gives us the best opportunity to do that. There we go. Now we've got some stripes aimed where we need them, I hope maybe I want to scoot this one over some if I do that the stripes land over there which isn't awful it's just not great I think I'm gonna to try to change things a bit oh look at this yeah I don't know why I was saying that I don't know that I did anything superb there Oh, let's try to knock that out. Knock that out. I, I don't think I have a good plan here. I'm just kind of making strikes here that don't seem to be helpful. So let me think this through. All right, what is my next best move? I think it's actually going to be to reach into this corner here. I can't get a blue there, obviously. I can do this move, this move, this move. That's really all I have. Let's do this and try to change the center. There we go. I can make a stripe here, which is aimed really well. I couldn't make that stripe there, but this is what I want right here. Oh, those stripes took off without me. I don't like that. Let's set the orange up. See if we can get something good there. Nope. That did not work. Now maybe the green. Ugh. It's the way things are flowing. That's what I'm struggling with. Okay, so one of the things that we need to do is recognize the problem. And then the other thing we need to do is find solutions. I see two very specific problems. One is that things flow funny, and so I wasn't properly dealing with that. The other is I was playing way too fast and not contemplating what each of the moves was going to do. So now let's take a look at this and play much more slowly. It's going to be work to get into the corners. I kind of like this move. It takes out two things here. I kind of like this. It takes this out. But I'm going to move this off. Remember how I said it would be nice to have these two together? It really super would. Now I could do this, which would hit both of these, and bring this purple down to hit this. This purple would be moved off to the side, so I'm not going to get any sort of wrapped. I think I might do this, though, and see if I can do something better with that purple. I don't think I'll be able to, but it's going to depend on what shows up through here. Yeah, it was a long shot. But it was, I think, worth taking. And now I have very limited opportunities, so I don't have to think too much about that. There we go. I can do this move. I can do this move. That looks to be about it. This is going to have more impact along the edge here. Now this is looking pretty good. I take this out. There we go. Now I've got that wrapped. But I need to set it off and I don't have any green. If I do this, this orange gets taken out. I think this green might eventually come down at least close enough uh, to strike here. And doing this also makes a nice cascade. So yeah, just paying a bit more attention. Now the problem is I've got this almost open and I don't have this open nearly. I could do this. I could do this. Don't really have too many options. I'm going to do this, try to remove some things, 
I kind of like that stripe. I actually really like that stripe because I think I'm going to be able to get a color bomb from it. Okay. I could make this stripe. I'm going to move this over, over and make another stripe and then look at that. We got it wrapped. Okay. I've got another color bomb. If I do this stripe, it takes out a color, hits both of these, opens this up. If I do this, it puts the color bomb stripe together. I don't know. I like this. I like taking out a color and setting this off. Yikes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take out all orange. It's going to collect this ingredient. Oh, it didn't set me up, but it did take out another color. So it concentrated things down and see how we get a lot of progress that way. If I do this orange here, it brings this green down one, two, three. That's not positioned well. The problem is in most cases I'm taking out the bottom color bombs or opening up the bottom color bombs and not getting to the top. I kind of like the blue over here. Let's do this and see what happens. There we go. I'm starting to understand how this everything flows. Oh, now we're going to be taking out a, oh, a color with two color bombs. Oh, well, didn't get to space those out. Oh, but look at this. We've got a wrapped, wrapped combo. That would strike this twice and this twice. Unfortunately, in striking this twice, it's going to take out the color bomb completely, so I'm not going to be able to do a color bomb, color bomb combo. But if I do this, we open this up entirely. And now we still have to get that. Okay, hold on. I could make a stripe here with the green. And then I would still have to get them together. It might be too much to try to get that done. I also have a color bomb over here. Let's do this. Then let's do this. And then let's take out all green and see what that does. We're getting some fun stuff to happen. I don't know that it's going perfectly, but I'm having fun exploring. I think I should take out a color. I want to take out orange. I can't. There's no way I can get to this guy without hitting him. I could make a stripe here. I could take this out. I'm going to go ahead and remove a color. Is it going to be orange or purple or blue? I like this idea, which would also collect an ingredient so we can get those ingredients gone. Oh, look at that. Now, unfortunately, if even if I were to be able to use this to take out purple, this would explode and hit here. So I'm still not able to get those combos I want. I can do this, which would send a stripe over here and hit this double thick stuff. I don't have anything aimed for over here. I think that if I do this, I could bring a blue down, but it would take a take a bit of effort. And I could just as easily try to position the orange. But I want to practice how things flow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I had kind of given up. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to, to make things happen well. Let's leave it to chance. Let's allow this to take out a color and concentrate things down and see where that leaves us. And then I could take out orange. I could take out purple. I could take out green. Or I could make a color bomb that takes out another color bomb and has a more explosive effect. I could make a stripe here. I'm going to go ahead and do the more explosive effect because this is all about learning how this board works. 
Not as much chaos as I would have hoped. And if I'd made a few better choices, look at that. I had a color bomb stripe combo at the end. So definitely a big improvement from the first attempt to the second attempt. I'm going to keep working on this and keep trying to concentrate on what moves I'm making. See you in just a bit. Okay, so this was my third attempt. I was able to get it. So I'm evaluating what the best move is. And I like that stripe at the bottom. It's tough in the beginning because we've got a lot of different opportunities. Generally speaking, lower to the ground is better. And look at that, we've got a stripe now that helped us out. We've got a lot of orange and a lot of purple. I'm trying to figure out how to get that purple stripe over. Now I realize that's, that's not happening. It's just not working out. Oh, yep. Yeah one more try to do it and it didn't work so let's see what else we can do to clear things out there I've made the, the blue come together I've got a stripe now I've got some green that I can use but I can even make something better out of the green I'm going to move the ingredient far over to the left so it's not in that center still hoping I can put something together now, why didn't I take the blue? Because I just didn't have enough blue on the board, but a blue wrapped combo, color bomb wrapped combo, is better in my opinion than a color bomb stripe. And we've got so many layers of frosting to get through. And then I've got the opportunity to make a wrapped here, but it's in the wrong position. Uh, so I'm gonna do stripes because I think that'll work better. And then look what I got, more color bomb wrapped. Now here again, I don't have enough green in the right places. I've already had a color bomb wrapped and I need to get into the corners. So I'm risking this terribly in order to see something better happen. And yeah, I just taking out a color is oftentimes better than using a combo that doesn't really promise much. Because now look at this, I've got three color bombs on the board. I've only got four colors in total. And so when I take out a color, it really concentrates things down. Here we've got this stripe opportunity, but again, not enough blue in enough places. Now if I don't take it, if I do something like take out all of the orange, I'm gonna lose that. And now I've got more blue aimed. So now I can reach into the corners a bit better. All of those licorice shells are gone and I've got this beautiful open space, but I've still got some double thick frosting on top of double thick jelly. So let's knock that down and then look at this. I can make some stripes. I have a color bomb opportunity and I've got a combo and I'm gonna see uh, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Oh wait, I forgot one in the beginning. So let's go back and look. Yeah, I have to check and make sure that one, that blue is gonna go vertically. And that's what I need is something that's gonna aim vertically and take out that nice stream of things. So that is it for me again on my third try. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. As always, thank you so much for watching. And remember, every time you play, win or lose, you're really starting to understand how the board works. Even if you're not focusing on it, you're getting some experience that will help you. Bye-bye.